What's up, geeks? Welcome to a new show. We're featuring The Binding of Isaac with its Afterbirth Plus expansion. It's not really a relatively new game. In fact, it's actually a remake of an older game of the same name, The Binding of Isaac. But then they basically had to start from scratch when it got pretty big and they wanted to put it in the councils and stuff like that. So I've been getting really into it. I started playing it at a buddy's house a few weeks ago. And so I had to go and uh, get it from my computer. And here we are now, about to shoot a video. And uh, I, I played a few times already just to kind of get my file along and stuff like that have fun and I actually managed in the few playthroughs that I've already managed to do get through the interlude epilogue into the epilogue levels because uh, once you beat the first time there's only like five or six levels and then the second time there's like seven or something I don't remember exactly but basically what this game is if you're wondering and you haven't played it is it is a roguelike dungeon crawler game reminiscent of old school Zelda from the regular Nintendo's style of dungeons and it's basically like a proceed random procedurally generated dungeon system where you collect power-ups and just basically kill a lot of monsters with all sorts of random abilities in a kind of a shooter-esque fashion I guess you shoot tears but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with Lazarus as he is pretty much exactly the same as Isaac Except he has an extra life. When he uh, dies, he'll come back to life with one heart. So that's pretty cool there. Pretty fly. That's interesting. I uh, started with a random pill. I didn't know he did that. That's that's kind of cool. He gave me a pretty fly too. Those are like little defenders. Nice. Always good to have some pretty flies around. I think the Meat Boys are a little bit better, but... And, uh, yeah, I guess I should mention, this this game is by the creators of Super Meat Boy. And arguably the better game of the two, but... I never really got too into Super Meat Boy. Not that it's a bad game, don't get me wrong. I just think it's all the dungeon crawler style roguelike is much better. Much more my style, you know? See if we can't find the treasure room here, and on uh, most floors you'll find treasure rooms. Unlock stuff. Make yourself more powerful. And this, this is a sacrifice room. Like I'll show you. You cross it. Ooh, that was a big sacrifice. Interesting. But sometimes you'll get stuff. I think if you like, you've got to do so many sacrifices. And certain things happen. I know there's like a boss battle that you can get from it. But I'm not going to worry about it too much because I don't have the health for it right now. And cool, a power battery. I don't have an active item, so it makes those kind of pointless. Got some bombs, that's always good. It's always good. Nothing too important here though. Got some hearts, but I'm not gonna waste my one bomb getting to them, so just gotta check out this way. Now these guys are like soulless. I don't know what they are, but they won't they won't get destroyed till you kill all the other creatures in the room. I think that's new with the afterbirth. Plus, although if you've played this before, it's probably not new to you because it's been out since April, but the whole game's new to me and I'm really quite enjoying it. Just went and went all the way in and got the Afterbirth Plus expansion. Um, there you go, there's the dungeon room. Oops. Mainly because I like that it adds mod support. I really would love to see some of the cool mods. I'd love to play like a uh, sci-fi theme mod or something like that. Change it all to more of a sci-fi-esque dungeon crawler. That might be cool. I don't know. Is this another pretty fly? Best buzz. Swarm protector. I think this is a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it increases my buddy's powers or something. Not quite sure on that one. 
These guys will shoot out little flies. Lowy flies. There we go. Yeah. You know, just because I have one bomb. Alrighty, we'll go ahead. Bomb for a bomb. Just because you never know what you might get in some rocks. You might find something cool. I didn't, but you know, it could have happened. Onwards to the boss room. First level is usually really easy. Little horn, huh? Alright. He's not one of the easiest bosses, but he's not too hard. And a lot of times he'll actually kill himself with those bombs. He's pretty bad at uh, planning out what he's doing sometimes. Didn't get any real good power ups for our tears though, so get away from that. See, like, oh, he didn't quite pop up quite close enough to that bomb, but sometimes he'll just jump right into a bomb of his own making. Sometimes you could lead them over to him when they start chasing you. Uh, fell down the hole. Kind of annoying, okay. So that one item actually does create little bugs for me. That flies around and like damages stuff. Let's see if we get him close enough. Oh, you're helping me here jump into the bomb. This is where it starts getting more likely because he throws a lot of these bombs. As time goes by and his health goes down. Right out of my direct range for some reason. Yeah, those holes can be pretty you know. Oh, shoot. We got only a half a health of life left, so let's. Oh, so close, that would probably kill them too. Yeah, we got that one though, pretty fast. Sometimes you gotta shoot these troll bombs to keep them away from you. There we go. And then just shoot that over to him and dang. I was really hoping I'd get that one. Would have been a nice easy one. Like no damage right now, unfortunately. I think it's not no damage, but very little in comparison to what I like to have. Nice. So this pajamas will fill up my hearts. Bam. Healing cozy and gives you four soul hearts, and then we got another soul heart. Nice. We're soul hearted out there. And uh, really, I guess, onto the next floor. Now we probably won't go through a whole playthrough in one video because it does take a while. The video I shot the other day to test stuff out. It's a two hour video I believe. Full dungeon run. It was the first time I beat the game entirely though so it was pretty cool. So I might put that up at some point in separate videos. But the problem with that is this: I had some sound problems and some full screen issues. Which just caused some weirdness. Um, there literally is no sound, unfortunately. But that might be workable. Just add some music or something if you guys want to see my first playthrough run through. There's not much video, much video uh, live footage from me playing the game. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, Shows me playing the game on the game itself, but at some point I accidentally pressed the full screen button and it basically made the screen overlap my live feed from my camera. Which is okay because I was using the webcam and that thing sucks. But in the end, 
like I said, it was like a two-hour video, so we're definitely not going to be doing whole videos, whole run-throughs in one video of this. Um, most likely be looking at two or three floors, depending on each how long each video takes. Really, we'll probably end this video once we finish this floor. See how we end. Things are going pretty well so far. We got double flies over here. We found a treasure room. That's cool. We do not have a key though. Ooh. I don't even know what happened over there. There's troll bombs everywhere. Whoa, that was crazy. Alright, well. Keep moving on. Hoping we find a key. Be careful, these fires will like shoot at you. Like that. This is a pretty tiny space for it. No, they only really seem to do it if you're like in their line of fire. And this right side doesn't seem to be going off at all. Oh, look, as I speak. But nice. Three coins. Totally worth it. Still no keys though. We can't do much without the keys. So we're just gonna sit here and do this. And hope we get the ooh. I wasn't even close to that guy. Be careful, those clouds go a lot further than you might think they would. I don't know why I'm shooting at the fire when there's stuff to kill still. Don't ask me. Get easily distracted sometimes, I guess. Man, no key. Dang. Alright. Looks like, oh, watch out for these, these guys just, yeah. Turn into big old spiky blocks. At least they give you a second, they don't do it like right away. Okay, there's a ten rock over there, but ah, that's a little too far. I'm not gonna bother with it because I don't think I have enough possibility to get there with just the one bomb. Yeah, you can curve your shots by moving, which is pretty useful for getting around and getting those shots in. Troll bombs are terrible. I'm terrible. At least I'm not terrible. That was the first time I got hit this floor. So that's nice. I think there's a character if you make it like two or three floors without getting hit that you can unlock. Now, Monstro is kind of cool because he's like the easiest of the bosses. Kind of like move to each side of them. And a lot of those, see, a lot of those will just fly right over your head if they're high in the sky, which is nice. But yeah, Monstro, nice little boss. There we go. Some hearts which you can't use, but what do we got here? Lunch, nice HP up. It's always good. Some more hearts, and we got an angel room or a devil room. Sorry, angel room, a devil room. In you know what? We're gonna go ahead and take the dark bomb. He'll eat those, and uh, I think he gets items or something like that. But you know, you take him through and have him eat all these hearts real quick in the floor. And nice, you got a soul heart for it. Cool. That's probably what he does there. We still didn't get a key. We're not gonna be able to go to the treasure room unless we find one in the secret room if we could find the secret room. So let's take a look. Oh jeez, that was close. Alright, let's make our map bigger here. And okay, we do have some rooms to go through still, so we'll go check those out and hopes for a key to open this treasure room. Even though it's not, you know, you don't really want to skip a treasure. That's never a good thing. Skipping treasure is losing out on the power, but sometimes you get forced to Unfortunately. Here you go, here's another heart for this guy. He's so slow though. 
Yeah, wait for him to pick it up before you can leave the room. And another soul heart, nice. But you can stack soul hearts like crazy from it. That was a close one. Oh well, um, you know what? I'm trying to think of where this secret room might be. It could be here. That's a possibility. Which would be nice if we had more bombs because then we could get into the secret room. Alright. If it is. Or it could be up there. Or I'm thinking it's over here for some reason. We got one bomb. See how it goes. See if we get lucky. Nope. Was not the secret room. Wastes our only bomb. Wah, wah. Oh well. It's got to be up here. Then. So here it is. Not much happening on that floor. I guess it's time to proceed to the next. Oh gosh. I keep forgetting that these things are here. Oh, and it got me. It got me. No. On to the next floor we go, guys. And, uh, you know, should we do one more floor or should we cut it here? Let's do one more floor. It's, you know, still got quite a bit more to go. I guess, theoretically, we should probably do four, four floors per, per video. Stammer my words here, guys. Alright, kill the poop! Kill the poop! Look at all this shit. Shit's just coming at me. I didn't see that guy down there. There we go. A lot of shit in this game, huh? Quite literally. Challenge room here. Yeah. Totally down for challenge room. And of course, oh, hold up, so heart. They're locked chests. Everything's locked and we get no keys. Well, shoot. So I, I dislike these white ones quite a bit more than I dislike the black ones. Alright. Black ones are a little bit easier to manage because you just get out of their range. I mean you can do that with the white ones so they just have a much longer range. And not really a pattern. You guys are all about the circular pattern, which I just totally fell right into that time, huh? This guy just doesn't want to come out here. There we go. At least we got another bomb. Still no keys, so we can't get this treasure chest either. But, it's 
still got the whole floor to go through, so hopefully we manage to find those bees. Dang. All these coins you can't even get into the shop. I'm going to take out these guys pretty fast. They're, they'll load up the world with all these little flying bugs. And, well, they die quick. When you got a screen full of them, they're not quite that fun. There he goes. Alright. I always recommend waiting to use a pill till you have monsters in the room already. So if it does something cool and damaging or monster dependent, it actually is useful and not wasted. Yeah, we got a key finally, guys. There we go. Have this guy eat up this thing real quick. We'll go back down for this uh, treasure. Them. Give me soul heart, I think, and one more heart or something like that. Sweet. Finally, some treasure. Treasure last. All right, let's see what we got in this treasure room. Ooh, interesting. Now if my phone wasn't dead right now, I could look up what this item does. Cause there's so many items in this game. Oh, these are very precise. Uh, man, I no longer have any curve to my things. I'm not sure if this was such a good thing. It's not terrible. There are much worse shots that you could get. Such as the one that makes you shoot diagonally. Oh, is that a pain. This could be useful in certain situations, but not so much so in others. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was out of range. You guys take less damage when you're... Did I need that? Give me a soul heart. Nice. Yeah, this, this dude is totally worth the heart. Because basically, you gotta wait if the ability is worth permanently losing one heart container. In this case, when he's plopping out all these soul hearts for me constantly, it's totally worth it. Because for the price of the one, I'm getting like three, four soul containers, you know? Alright, where are we going? Up, okay. Nice. Health up. And I just got a health up from that pill that I had. Which is cool, so... Next heart container, I'll have to eat that one. So I can get myself up to uh, full health there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I kill him, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
He's got a lot of health, man. There we go. I don't need those spiders. Intended to happen there, but that's okay. Shoot. Tried to get out of the way. Hopefully, boss will maybe in this next room. He got like stuck in the corner there or something. Cool. Grab that heart before you could eat it. And nope, still no boss room, but we gotta be getting close. These guys have blood trails. Made it to the boss chamber. Nice, and we got a key. Sweet. So, in that next floor, we definitely will have be ready for that treasure. All right, Mega Ragman. I actually think he's pretty easy. He's not too bad. Except he can't be hurt until he unfurls himself, and then you still gotta avoid these balls until they start. They'll eventually throw those around. When he's doing up, oh, gotta get too close. When he's doing this. Whoa, that was way too close. Basically, whenever he goes in, just shoot all the spiders, and when he's not in, shoot at him. Alright, he should be coming out here soon. by these spiders. This guy's not the worst boss, but he's not necessarily the easiest either, at least in these smaller rooms like this. Soul hearts. There we go. Nice. We got an eternal heart though. That's cool. As long as he doesn't eat it. I don't want to risk getting it quite yet. I don't want to wait till I kill everyone just in case so I don't get hit and lose it. Because when you go to another floor, this eternal heart will turn into a new heart container. Or if you collect two on one floor, but that almost never happens. Rotten meat! Nice, so we got two heart containers from this floor bringing us up to a total of six. Which means one more and we will have unlocked Magdalene. But as I said, we are on the fourth floor now. This video is getting kind of long, so we will call it here and uh, pick up in a second video so you guys thanks for coming if you haven't played the binding of isaac i highly highly recommend it especially if you're into like old school zelda games and stuff like that it's an amazing game 
totally worth your time, totally worth your money. You have played it, then you know what I'm talking about already. And I don't need to tell you, but with that, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel for more geek and gaming videos. Have a great one.